Hello, everyone. I am Christopher. And as many of you may have already heard, thanks to the EU Commission, Apple has loosened its restrictions on the App Store. So now we can download emulators from the App Store onto our iPhones. So because of all of that, I decided to make a video on how to download the emulator and play retro games on your iPhone. Now, before we get started, I'd like to just state some boring legal stuff since Nintendo likes to go after videos like these. This video is covered under the Digital Millennium Copyright Act of 1998. The emulation is perfectly legal. This is just an educational video on how to emulate on your iPhone. I'm not encouraging anyone to pirate or illegally download ROMs. Any information I provide is freely available on the internet. I'm just educating people on where and how to find this information. Now with all of that cleared up, let's just get into the simple tutorial. So we're going to open up the app store and in the search bar, we're going to look up Delta Game Emulator and it'll be the purple one with the triangle on it. Once you open that, you guys should see a download button. For me, it says open because I've already downloaded it. And if you'd like, you can scroll down and see the features that this app has. Now we're going to open up the app itself and it should take us to an empty, ignore the game that's already on there, an empty screen and a, you'll see a little cog and a plus button on the left and right side. So before we can do anything, we're going to go to the internet. You're going to want to open up Safari and we're going to search for Vim's Lair. And once you're there, you're going to want to click the vault and that should take us to a separate page with a list of retro game ROMs. And we're just going to download a Game Boy Advance ROM. We're going to select Pokemon Fire Red version and we're going to select the download button. Once it begins downloading, you'll see at the bottom left, the little download circle. And we're going to go to our download and we're going to open the file and it should open in our files app. Once we have all that done, we'll go back to the Delta emulator app. And we'll click the plus button and we'll select the files tab. And we're going to select Pokemon Fire Red and it should upload to the app. And now we can just select it and there you go. We have Pokemon Fire Red. Oh, and if you want any audio, make sure you turn off, make sure you turn your phone's audio on. So if it's on vibrate, turn it off. And now we have audio. You can click the main menu button in the middle of a game and you'll see you have a save state, a load state, and cheat codes. And you can click the fast forward button if there's a scene that you can't skip and you want it to go faster. And you could have the app hold buttons down to make playing the game easier. So I'm going to go back to the main menu and go to the settings tab. And here's a list of settings for the app. You can add those USB or lightning bolt cable controllers to your phone and you should be able to play with a real control. I believe you could also use Bluetooth controllers if you'd like. So here's a bunch of more settings you can mess around with and figure out what each setting does. You could also play N64 games. So I'm just gonna demonstrate how N64 games run on the iPhone. It runs really smoothly, as you can see. You can also play in landscape mode if you unlock your phone and you'll have a wider screen. And the controllers will be more off to the side instead. Playing on touchscreen can be pretty difficult, so it's going to take some time to get used to it. And that's really all there is to it. I would say this is probably my most simple tutorial that I've created. So I hope this helped you guys out and you enjoy your emulator on your iPhone. Thanks for watching my videos and supporting me throughout my YouTube career. If this video has helped you out, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and take it easy.